You know, I just can't wait to see you back on the big screen, buddy. So as you guys know, and I've said it many times, the Scream franchise is one of my favorite horror franchises of all time. And I've told you before, it was the first horror movie I'd ever seen. I was six years old and it scared the living hell out of me. And it is also a hilarious movie and pokes fun at itself. But, as you guys know, just a few months ago it was announced that Spyglass Entertainment is taking over the Scream franchise. And now it's been announced that they have a director for the upcoming Scream reboot. Are we getting a reboot or are we getting Scream 5? It's not quite clear yet, but the directors are the directors of Ready or Not. And sadly, I have not got a chance to see Ready or Not starring Samara Weaving. I've seen her in a couple things. I've seen her in The Babysitter. And do you guys think she could appear in the Scream film? I'm worried. I'm also excited should this be a sequel or should this be a reboot if it's a reboot oh my goodness please do it well i got three things i really do not want to see changed number one the voice changer the killer uses it's iconic don't take it away don't get rid of it um obviously the robe and obviously the classic ghost face mask do not pull one of those things like they did with mtv scream series where they changed the mask and the robe completely if anybody ever sees this video who's taken over this franchise stick to the basics man wes craven's gone and do it as he would but i've heard good things about the directors that are directing the reboot slash scream 5 i've not seen ready or not but i've heard that it is a great horror movie it's gory and it's also got a lot of comedy in it and you need that in your scream franchise and they there is a little plot synopsis you know about a girl who comes home to investigate some killings going on in her hometown will this movie involve sydney prescott or is this going to be a whole new cast reboot or remake of the classic film i could see it being a reboot but incorporate Dewey and Gale and Sydney somehow. I'd love to see Nev Campbell and, you know, Courtney Cox and David Arquette come back as maybe just a cameo. The movie doesn't have to be about them. It would be very refreshing to have a new cast that's the main focus. You know, new killer, new cast. Maybe throw Sydney in there for a couple scenes, but not the whole movie. But don't completely disregard the classic films because you can't. You can't do that, man. There is so good besides Scream 3. But aside from that, the only good thing about Scream 3, in my opinion, was the look of Ghostface. I thought it did have the best-looking best, best looking ghost face in it. Should it be a sequel to Scream 4? Where would they go with the franchise after Scream 4 if they do get the top three big dogs back? Nev Campbell, David Arquette, and Courtney Cox. Where would it go? Is there any story left? That's what we got to ask ourselves. Is there any story left? Part of me wants, wants the franchise to continue in this new film and be Scream 5. And then part of me wants it to be a reboot. Because, you know, the first four Scream movies were Wes Craven, man. And rest in peace, Wes Craven. He's gone now. So I don't know if it would be right to touch on, you know, the series he already had going. Or should they start fresh but pay tribute to the classic, you know, four Scream films. But I really want, you know, classic Ghostface, classic killer. You know, this could be a new trilogy where we don't find out who the killer is until the third film. I'd be totally down for that. Like, it could be a new movie, all new characters, maybe a cameo from Matthew Lillard. Not as Stu, but if it's a new story, new characters, and none of these people matter, from the classic franchise they could bring in you know cameos matthew lillard or skeet ulrich that'd be awesome and i'm excited to see what they do for it do with it but i'm also very worried because the scream franchise means so much to your boy guys and but i am extremely excited to see what they do 
we're gonna have to come up with a new word with excited and nervous. I'm nursited. I'm nurse. I'm nursited, motherfucker. But no, dude. I'm glad. I've heard nothing bad about Ready or Not. I've talked to a lot of people about the film. I've watched reviews. I've never. I've not heard. I don't think I've heard a single bad thing about Ready or Not. And if the directors of that film have the props that everybody's given them, you know what? Go ahead and let's see what you could do with the Scream franchise. I'm going to check out Ready or Not when I have some time, you know what I'm saying? I've been busy lately. I was just in a car crash. Some girl hit me going like 60 while I was parked and, you know, totaled my car. So I'm going through a lot. I don't really have time to watch movies right now, but I will be fine. I will get back on my feet. But... Don't forget to go down and like and subscribe. I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say about the upcoming Scream film. Do you want it to be a reboot? Do you want it to be a remake? Or do you think they should actually turn it into another TV series again? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm goofy. I'm getting ready to lay down for work here in just a second, my friend. Until next time, we will keep talking about this Scream franchise because... I love it. It's some of my most popular videos on the channel. Until next time, guys, coming at you from Addiction TV.